So I'm trying out this podcast recording. It's a little bit different than I normally do when I upload my videos. So hopefully this will work out. If not, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to chat about a podcast I was thinking I was going to do while I do some social media posts. So hello, children of God. Welcome back to Marie Speaks. God's Grace Bible Study. Um, I wanted to make a little podcast and talk about how the things we do in our life can actually assist us in serving Hashem and um, studying Torah. And I know some out there might be like, yes, we got that. But many of us do things in generality with going out without going into fine minute detail unless it's something we are greatly passionate about like some of us are really into our cars let's be honest some of us are really good in organizing a pantry oh my goodness I see some of these videos and I'm like that must be nice to be so organized and well put together like that my pantry uh, most certainly does not look that way or some of us are really great at meal prep and preparing for the next day and anticipating um, where we're going to be in a month or so and how to prepare for those tasks that might be at hand God willing and and so forth and so on so the other day I was washing my vehicle so if it rains soon you're welcome <laughs> and I felt like God was saying to me, how could I study Torah like I'm washing my car? And I'm talking to God as I'm washing my vehicle. And I'm going to be honest, I don't like washing my car. I don't wash my car very often. I'm one of those people like the inside is clean where I'm at. So if the outside is dusty or dirty, I really don't care. But it's the outside that people see, right? They see the appearance of our vehicles and most of the time, let's be honest, they'll judge us on what we're wearing, what we're driving, um, whether we have stains on our clothes or holes in our clothes, which apparently is still fashionable. Uh, I do pray that goes out of fashion. I never liked that style, but Many individuals judge on what's on the outside, but some of us, you know, we judge on what's in the inside and we take those into our relationship with Hashem and our study of Torah. Many of us, you know, sad to say, are very shallow and superficial and when we study Torah, we'll do it in a shallow and superficial way. We don't crave the depths of the spirituality of Torah. We don't look and dissect um, the words and the alphabet and the Hebrew alphabet and Jewish thought and Jewish logic and mystical thought and mystical logic and, and, um, and then take that into applying all these teachings to our lives. But, 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 the great sages of old, many of them did this. That's why we have our beautiful books that we have today, you know. And so as I'm cleaning my vehicle, which like I've gone over before is not my thing. I rather do a lot of other things than clean the inside and outside of my vehicle. I felt like merciful Hashem, blessed be his glorious name, was saying, I want you to take care the opposite with me right many of us take care of our uh, material belongings better than we study Torah I feel like Hashem was saying in this season for me specifically he wants me to take care more care of my belongings and my appearance and my home um, with the same love and care that I study Torah and I'm <laughs> I'm not a dirty person, so let me put that out there. People are like, girl, what's going on there? No, no, no. I'm not like a dirty person, but 
if you ask me, um, and I keep a clean house, okay? But if you ask me if I rather wash the dishes or study Torah, I rather study Torah. If I rather sweep and mop, I rather study Torah. If I rather do anything else, no, I rather be sitting, reading a book, and studying Torah. It isn't my prime goal、um, to go and have conversations with people. I carry a book wherever I go because I rather be studying and searching. And be involved in Torah, and that is just me. And I'm not saying I'm so firm and I'm so pious. That's just where I feel comfortable. And I think Merciful Hashem is telling me that I use my love. Sometimes we use our love、um, for studying and researching Torah as、uh, walls, as shields, and a safe hiding place. And it is, but. Because we're using it as a safe hiding place, we're not having as great as effect in whatever mission Merciful Hashem wants us to have that season for our life on others.、Um, and there was a story I was listening to, you know, because I was studying. <laughs>、um, there's this podcast I love listening to, and it's about Jewish history, and it's on Spotify. And he was talking about one of the sages, and forgive me, I don't remember the name, but he was saying there was this great tzaddik in a town, and he was so wonderful、um, that even the town rabbi used to go to him for、um, wisdom and knowledge and teachings. And he would study Torah. He would only sleep two hours of the day. He would he wouldn't even eat. He would allow himself.、Um, Just an olive size of bread, which he would dunk in water, smash it together, and try to swallow it whole, so he wouldn't have any of the desires or any, excuse me, any of the pleasures of this world. He didn't want to experience. He didn't even really live with his wife and his children.、Um, he lived kind of away from them because he didn't. He loved them. Um, and they thought of him well, and they were very proud of him. But he didn't want to be involved in the matters of this world to a great extent and a great degree. He was just one of those individuals who were just like supernatural beyond belief. He had finished studying the Talmud by the time he was seven years old, and the Mishnah, and, and all these things. He was just amazing. He was like a scholar. I think by the age、um, of twelve. And he could no longer be taught. In fact, teachers were going to him to learn and study Torah. Isn't that amazing? Anyhow, in his adult life,、um, you know, there was this season, and he asked one of the rabbis or in the area to rebuke him. You know, as a way of of musar and and learning. You know, seeking thyself and seeking self improvement. And he was like, "Well, what can I atone for? You know, I'm searching for perfection in Hashem." So he asked one of the other rabbis, "Rebuke me, correct me, find fault in me, so I can further、um, dive deeper into serving Hashem and Torah." And you know, this was a great task. The rabbi felt overwhelmed that's being asked to do this for this great zaddik, and.、Um, Later, this great zaddik comes out just crying and pouring tears. And what is said is that that rabbi that was asked to rebuke the zaddik said, "It's easy to be a great zaddik when all you do is read and study, and you lock yourself away, and you're never around other individuals and around, you know, the people, the women who make the bread down, you know, the street who are and selling the fish, and they're cussing like sailors, or you're never around at the courts, or you're never around、um, helping the needy. All you do is literally study, and you lock yourself away. But all the things you're studying for, and you could be helping the community with, you aren't experiencing firsthand. You're Experiencing it only through、um, the words of the Torah, and so this great zaddik is just crying, and he's like, "You're absolutely right," you know. So when I heard that story, I was like, "Oh my goodness, is that what some of us do? Where we get to the point where we're so..." Not only tunnel visioned, but we're living a tunnel visioned life, 
And I'm not saying we should go out and do and live abomination lives. No, I'm, that's not what I'm saying at all. But God, merciful Hashem gave us this world to have beautiful experiences and in, and to enjoy a uh, company of others and good foods and good drinks and and good entertainments and you know um, nature and and beautiful animals and so on and sometimes because of uh, wanting to be very close to Hashem we miss the point of what it means to be truly close to Hashem um, blessed be he in a ton of categories of our lives so I believe um, it's about balance. And this is what Hashem wants us to have, balance. And I believe this is what he's leading me to, balance. And this is another reason why I wanted to have that goal about, you know, doing 30 hikes in, in 30 days and being outdoors more and walking more and trying <laughs> To have conversations with others, which I'm not very good at. I am admittedly socially awkward. And like I said, I'd rather be reading a book than talking to most people. And it's not an insult to most people. It's just, I'm, most people aren't interesting to me as Torah and Tanakh and spiritual studies. They're just not. Um, most people, I may enjoy their company in, um, small short spurts and then I'm like okay great this was good this was nice I want to go read and study I'll see you later I got um I don't know some humash I want to study some tehillims I want to read you know some um some mythology I was questioning about I want to dive deep and research that's that's just me um so yeah so while I'm washing my car I believe merciful Hashem says okay now, it's diligently, diligently how you have been studying me and searching for me. I want you to do this and find a balance in living life. So I'm like, great. I love you, merciful Hashem. I don't know how to do this. I know you'll direct me. So we're going to figure out how to do this, right? So this leads into um, me applying this principle. And it's only been very recent. So, you know be kind um (laughs) i like i said i've been going for walks and sometimes these walks will take me around like i don't know the neighborhood streets and it this started probably i don't know two or three years ago i'd be walking and i would notice nails yes nails screws things that could god forbid puncture someone's wheels and make flat tires and I was like no you know and I would walk out of my house and I would see it would just annoy me I would walk out of my house and I would see a bunch of nails and screws you know in my driveway and I and at first you know the first couple of times I was like oh my goodness I can't believe you know I'll just pick this up and throw it away and about you know the second or third time because you know, sometimes I'm a slow learner. I was like, okay, someone is after me. Someone is doing this. And I was mad, right? And of course I prayed about it. And I talked with our father in heaven. And I feel all wisdom comes from Hashem. Because I'm willing to admit I have no bright idea on my own. I believe if I have a bright and brilliant, wonderful thought, it is from my creator. That's just me. So... I felt like Hashem was saying, if you don't want certain things to happen to you, you should do your best to make sure they don't happen to other people. And I was like, you're absolutely right. So for the last couple of years, I would say about three and a half, maybe four years now, if I'm walking in the streets or around the neighborhood and I see a nail or a screw in the road where someone could possibly be driving and puncture their tires, guess what I do? I pick up nails. This is what I feel um, led to do and it is so hilarious because I'm sure I look a little bit funny when one of my neighbors asked me, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I'm picking up nails. I've noticed these in the streets. Some of them say, oh my goodness, thank you. I've never even noticed that. But some people honestly would be like, and this is what you do? Like, 
this is what you call a good time. I wouldn't say it's not a good time, but you know, sometimes I'm praying while I'm doing it and walking and talking to God. And sometimes I'm listening to a track tape about some kind of Jewish teaching or a podcast about Jewish teaching that I like. Yes, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I walk and I pick up nails. Now I don't pick up all trash and all litter because gross, but I most certainly do pick up nails and screws and one person actually just a little while ago saw me doing this and I was like oh hey 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 you know they're about to leave I was like be careful there's been a bunch of nails here I've been seeing I don't want you know and they were like what do you mean and then I showed them in my hand well I saw a bunch of nails so I picked them up and if you're going that way that's where I saw them so just be careful there might be more and this individual goes uh, are you doing that for the whole parking lot? And I was like, uh, well, in my mind, if I do it for me or if I do it for others, it won't happen to me. So only where I walk. And they just gave me such an odd look. And I was like, I must come off very odd to people, <laughs> which goes back to my social awkwardness, which goes back to why I always read books, which goes back to why Torah and Hashem are my safe hiding place. Oh, <laughs> isn't that hilarious? Yeah, the little things that we do. So in trying to serve Hashem, I am managing to be helpful yet awkward. And apparently I'm great at it. Baruch Hashem. Amen. All right. So I'm getting to practice using this podcasting and I'm grading getting to share a nice little story so I hope others enjoy this and yeah I'll see everyone soon I'm actually getting ready to post and record record then post uh Devarim chapter 21 verses uh one through nine and I will be completing uh the portion of a portion so theme out of uh Devarim and yeah so that will be uploading God willing very shortly at least before the Shabbat so others will have something to enjoy um Keep up to date with us on our social media. Uh, you can find us on our website, MarieSpeaksGodsGrace.live, because we serve a living God. I mostly post on Minds.com, Facebook, and Instagram. So, yeah. All right. Until next time, children of the Most High Ever Loving, Living God. May God bless you. May God keep you. May we all be forever written in the book of life. Amen.